Hey y'all and welcome. I am excited to sit down here. I don't know if I've already gave my like life update type of video. If I have, I'll go ahead and link it up here. But if I haven't and this is the first video you're seeing from me, hello, it has been a long time. I'm excited to be able to sit down and finally do some makeup. And today I'm playing with the brand new palette, the Simply Posh Cosmetics Coastal Palette. Now, as I said, if this is my first video, I might go ahead and put this one up before the other one just because this is launching tomorrow. And if I can try to get it out on time, that'd be cool. But uh, I'll have an update video soon if it's not already live. Um, just letting you guys know why I was gone. But today I really want to sit down and play with this palette. So that's what we're going to do today. Like I said, it's the Coastal Palette. I did have a discount code with Simply Posh Cosmetics. If I still have it, it's Lady Katie. If I don't have it, then you're welcome to, you know, there's lots of other codes out there. You're welcome to use another one. If you use my code, thank you so much, but don't feel pressured. But just wanted to shout it out there real quick. And this is what the palette looks like inside. Really fun, kind of muted type of summer palette, which I think I, I, in this phase of life that I'm in, I'm very down for a muted colorful palette. So I'm very, very intrigued. It feels a little repetitive to what we have seen from Simply Posh Cosmetics recently, but I mean, that's me nitpicking and also, you know, me, test, you know, doing it from the point of view of owning every single palette. I know not everyone is going to own all the palettes from Simply Posh, but it just made me think a little bit of the last one or two palettes in just the subduedness and the kind of, I don't know, the, the tones of pinks and blues and um, whatnot or like the color choices. But I do think it is a little bit different. Um, I'm trying to think. Here's the last one. I'm pretty sure this is the last one, the Simply Posh So Cozy Cabin. There's a lot more saturation, but I don't know, just something with the color choices just felt a little bit like I've seen that before type of thing, but different at the same time. So a little bit of nitpick there, but we're gonna play with it and I'll probably be diving into this section down here because it just excites me the most. And so, yeah, let me go ahead and just get started. All right, right when I said, let's get into it, the camera battery died. It was my faulty camera camera battery. So I went ahead and primed my eyes just with the Glam Light uh, eyeshadow primer. We're gonna hop in. I wanna use this Palms because it looks like it's one of those grungy greens but it doesn't look, oh, I got a hair, oh, got a hair. Um, doesn't look super, super green, so I'm curious how green it is. And you guys know I love the, the grungy hunter green, so we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try with this brush. Uh, I'm just so excited to dive into some makeup. It's always so relaxing to be able to do. Oh, actually, I think I'm gonna eat my words. That looks, look, that looks pretty nicely green. I like that, okay. Just looking at the pan, it looked like one of those, I don't know if I'm alone here, but sometimes it can look like it's going to be a gorgeous grungy green and then you dive into it and it's more of a brown. But that's very nice and of course like nicely pigmented. This is just one time, you know, going into the pan and I'm just working with what I have, but that is beautiful saturation and... There's one shade darker that I think I could deepen this up with. It's right next to it. Um, just to show you guys, this is what I used. I could use this to darken it up just a little bit more in the outer corner, which I might, because other than that, it looks more of a mid-tone type of palette when it comes to the darker shades in this palette. So something to note. Um, I'm sorry if I am going to end up posting this video before my update video. I kind of wanted to post that first, but at the same time, um, I can just a lot quicker and easier sit down and put one of these videos out. And if I have time though, it just depends on if I have time to put this video together this afternoon before everyone wakes up. If not, then I don't know, maybe I'll already have that update video. But if it's not up, I am so sorry if it's confusing at all and you're like, oh my goodness, where were you? The video is coming and if it's out already um, and you missed it um, because it's been, gosh, I think it's been almost um, at this point, did it say it's 60 days since my last upload? It might be even longer, so it's been almost two months because, oh my gosh, my update video, I think I recorded about two weeks ago. It just took that long to edit together. Mm, I'm gonna take Island and we're just gonna use that to go buff out the rest of it. Um, anyway, so it took me a little bit longer to edit and I just didn't have a whole lot of time. It's Life is still, it is still busy and on top of everything that did happen, it's summer. Oh, well, it's, it's hot now. I shouldn't say it's summer technically. I don't think it's summer, but it's hot now, so it's a lot more work to um, to get the animals taken care of and help them through this hot period. So it requires more work and time throughout the day. So a lot of times at nap time, I'm outside checking on them or whatnot. 
and we're also setting up a huge garden. I don't think I mentioned that in my update, so I can talk about that. But we're setting up where our pigs have been all winter. We're going to transition that area into a garden. And so I'm trying to use this time, we were able to get some good, uh, like not fertilizer, but um, good compost. So we're trying to set up the rows and stuff like that. I might plant a little bit, but it's, it's getting really hot. So I'm not, I don't have grand plans. I think I'm just gonna do some beans and maybe Seminole pumpkins if I can get it up in time. But I'm trying to get it all prepped so that at least in the fall I can really get going on actually planting and growing a garden because we haven't really had much of a garden since moving in here for various reasons, but we're finally getting on that now. And anyway, so that just has me outside at nap time a lot of nap times the past couple of weeks, taking the wheelbarrow back and forth to the pile and to the different rows and whatnot and getting it all set up and sweating my butt off. But I'm excited for that. Really, I'm looking forward to this garden. We had little one um, in a couple boxes set up in the backyard, but the location wasn't great. And, um, uh, it wasn't set up well as far to as far as like watering and stuff like that. So this other location is bigger. It's a better setup. Uh, we've had a lot of you know pig activity digging up and eating a lot of the roots and stuff. So hopefully I'm hoping that'll be better soil for to start growing. And then just the location I'm going to set up an irrigation system so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm hoping it'll just be a better a better time, a better experience growing in this area. All right, I am going to take a tiny brush like this. This is the blend, what do you call it? Blend Bunny Cosmetics B3. And I'm going to take that deep sea, that darkest, like blue green, and I'm going to put it here and see. I really don't want to change the color, but I do want to see if I can darken it at all or if it's just going to be more of a mid tone palette. So I'm going to pack this on the outer corner. And then I'm going to put the uh, original color, the gray, uh, green, on top and see if that does anything. You guys know me, I just like to play around and experiment a bit. Alright, did that do anything? The side without it, the side with it. I'll have to see in the video when I'm editing. I feel like I can see stuff better in the video sometimes when I'm editing than in person, but I don't think it really did anything. So I think the, the, the deep tones in this palette are all going to be mostly mid-tone, but I am going to go ahead and do it on this side just in case. Okay, now for the inner half. Um, I, I'm attracted to these two just because I love that green-orange type of, or, you know, green, not really orange, but, you know, green-orange. I like the, that, that pairing, and so this, these grungy pairings of the green and the orange are really attractive. But should I do a pink or maybe a bright green that could be fun hmm I'm gonna go ahead and do that let's take we're gonna take seaside to see how bright that is and if I need it any deeper in there or brighter whatever the case is we can use sea breeze I'm gonna take what I say seaside first and we're gonna put that so we'll use both the greens which I'm sure a lot of people are doing. I have not seen or been able to watch any videos. I only saw one or two get posted up as of today. But uh, I have a feeling, I don't know, I'm not doing anything that original, but oh well, I'm just going with the colors I am attracted to. This is so pretty. This is like a really pretty pastel, like vibrant pastel. I love their vibrant pastels, so I'm very happy to see that. If you've never tried Simply Posh Cosmetics pastel colors, oof. You're in for a treat. They're one of my favorite formulas when it comes to pastels that are still vibrant but still look pastel on the eyes because pastels can kind of disappear on my skin sometimes or just be so light I can't see it type of thing. So typically I really like Simply Posh Cosmetics pastels. Not that this is a straight up pastel but it's just that lighter type of color. That's really pretty. I don't really need any more color but I will probably take just a touch of that darkest shade and put it right into the crease here in a second. I'm just gonna blend this out. That's very pretty. And like I said, I'm gonna take Seabreeze, the darker one. I love how Simply Posh Cosmetics does this, so if you don't wanna think about it, you can literally just take the lighter color and the darker color, put those two in the crease, and you're done. But it also makes it easy if you're playing around and you're like, okay, this lighter color looks great, I wanna add some depth. You just go right down and grab the next color below the shimmer and you have a very complimentary deep shade to put on there. All right, I just took like literally tap, I didn't even tap, but I just pressed my brush in there to get a little bit of that. That's really pretty. 
not really necessary for the inner corner because I'm not going that crazy bright, but I just wanted to try it. It adds a little bit, but it's probably going to be covered. I don't know. What do you think? Did it add? Did it add to it or was it unnecessary? Because that first shade, the seaside, I'm going to clean off the same brush and go back to seaside, but that first seaside shade was very, very pretty and bright. And like I said, I don't really, didn't really need to add anything to it, but I did want to try it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back into that very first grungy green palms. And I'm going to muss it up in here just to help blend these two sections a little bit like that. And then I'm going to go into that lighter shade of Islands and use that to finish blending out that spot where the two meet. Okay, here we are. We're ready for the um, shimmer. Let's go in to my NYX primer and then the shimmer. I don't know what shimmer to use. I kind of really want to use the orange because I love green and orange. I think I've said that already in this video. But um, I also think it'd be fun to use like the purple, something vastly different to really pop. I'll have to swatch a couple because you guys know me. I like to get my fingers into them and see how they look on my finger. That always helps. Um, okay, let's see. So this is the one I'm attracted to. Honestly, it's orange, but it also has a pink hue to it. So I don't think these are multi-chromes. Ooh, I got a cat hair. What's new? <laughs> There's that one. Yeah, it's, it's a pinky yellow, honestly. Shifty. I don't know, multi-chrome, but it looks uh, duochrome, like it shifts a little bit. And then I'm kind of tempted to put, is it sunset or salt water? One of those. I think it, you know, these might be multi-chrome because they uh, are tripping me up. Um, this one, I didn't even say serene. They packaged this one separately in the package, like took it out. It wasn't in the palette and had it wrapped up individually because they said it's a more of a delicate shadow that they didn't want to break. So I thought that was nice of them. I'm going to go into sunset um, and I didn't have any breaks. Ooh, that's a pretty type of wet looking pink to blue purple. Let's see what salt water is. This is the taupey purple. Ooh, that's pretty. That's like that oil slick popular brown. It's got a little bit of brown, but like um, green purple and let's see tropical I should have just went in order but you know me ooh tropical is pretty that'd be really pretty with a, a like a, a brown all in the crease and whatnot and this over the lid super pretty and then I think the only one I haven't done is paradise and serene I probably will use serene on my inner corner so let's go into paradise that's pretty I don't want to do that though because I feel like that's a little too predictable <laughs> because it's all the same tone but this is absolutely beautiful um what did i say that was paradise okay so decisions 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 i think i'm going to use this one this uh this was salt water i believe that'd be fun and different and maybe i'll pop a little bit of sunset in the inner half of it if it needs some brightening up because mm. sun Sunbathe is that orange. This is pretty too. Oh, it's all pretty. What's new, Katie? Let's go ahead and just do that. What did I say? Salt water. I think is the one that purple, or was it tropical? Honestly, it could be either one of those. Oops, let me swatch them again. Here's salt water and tropical. Yeah, salt water. That's the one. Tropical, I want to use with an all brown look. I feel like that'll be really pretty. Okay, let's do that. Mm, salt water, I said. Let's pack up my brush. I have enjoyed how um, Simply Posh Cosmetics, since the first palette I tried from them, I feel like they've gotten a lot um, easier to work with their shimmers because it used to be pretty compacted in there and a little bit tricky. I mean, not terribly so, but a little bit tedious to pick it up on a brush and get it on your, your lid. But these are really nice. Um, no issues picking that up. It's not like super loose, but I prefer that because if it's too loose, then I feel like it just makes a mess both in your palette and on your face. But this, um, you know, it's, I'm taking my time picking it up, but it's transferring very nicely onto my lid. So that's my preference when it comes to super sparkly, shifty type of shadows. I don't mind them being a little bit more firmly pressed if it means I have more um, ability to work with the shadow and not make a mess all over my face. So I'm going to put this all in here. And I think I will just take a little bit of that orange or pink or like pinky purple. Hmm, let's see. Should I do 
that orangey pop in the inner corner. No, I'm gonna do the orange. It's a little bit more of a pop. This one is kind of blends in. That was that sunset mm. shade. Okay, um, let me finish this side. But anyway, things are pretty good, but I think I was just explaining that like mm. I recorded that update video over two weeks ago and it's just taking me this long to edit it just because life continues to be busy. So at this point, I think it's been about two months since I uploaded anything, which is crazy and sad and I definitely miss it. So it'll be nice if I can get these videos up. And I also had a video all on the Doherty Dozen that I had thought I already posted, but it was right around the time I stopped posting. So I edited it. That's why I thought I had posted mm -hmm. already. I, edit, I edited it together, uploaded it to my channel, but hadn't done like the thumbnail and the tags and all that. So it's still sitting in my like drafts folder of my channel. So I found it when I went to upload the, the, um, the kind of update video and I was like, wait, what's this video? I didn't realize I hadn't uploaded it. So there's another video <laughs> that's ready to go. Just needs me to put the uh, thumbnail and title and tags together. I couldn't believe I hadn't uploaded that. I could have sworn I thought I uploaded it, but nope, I did not. All right, taking a little bit of, what is that, sunbathe. This is a really pretty color. I like that color. I like it. I like a good orange, gold orange. Very pretty. All right, we're just gonna take that and bleed it into what I have going there. Just a little, little sunbeam on the inner half of my eye. What do you guys think of this color story? I should have asked that earlier. I feel like it's a nice compliment for people who are more into neutrals but like color because it's got a nice array of color but nothing too crazy in your face or too bold. And it's got a lot of colors where you could very comfortably work with neutrals and just add a pop of something here and there. And then the shimmers are just gorgeous. So I'll be curious to know if this is your type of palette, if you like more neutrals or if you like color and like this type of subdued color. Let me know your thoughts. I feel so out of the loop when it comes to new makeup. I need to sit down and do a new makeup um, type of will I buy it because I don't know what has come out, what is coming out, I know nothing. I feel like I am entirely out of the loop and know absolutely nothing. I didn't know about this palette until they sent me an email letting me know that it was being shipped and then I was like, oh, let me go see. And then that's when I saw the sneak peeks and whatnot. And then the final reveal um, just before this arrived, but I had no idea. Even though I've been keeping up a little bit with Instagram, I just have not been keeping up with it enough to see the releases. Like I'll see something and be like, oh, that looks cool. I'll have to look at that later, see what that that is about. And look at it more, you know, have more time to look at it. And then you know, life gets busy. And then I, <laughs> next thing I know, I forget about it until I see another post of it. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. But at the same time also, I'm not, I haven't been opening up Instagram much at all. I've been on Facebook a lot more of just like local stuff, just with them um, taking care of the animals and, uh, the farm animal, animals and all that and we had a litter of rabbits so I've been finding homes for them that has been a ton of fun um, raising the rabbits up my kids have enjoyed it uh, we showed a little bit uh, they did their first show I don't I forget if I told you but their first like rabbit show in the in the beginning of the year March just before all the madness started I think it was end of March yeah um, anyway Oh, I think I said May earlier in this video and I meant March. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, having a lot of fun. We also had to move our rabbits indoors. They used to be outside on our back porch and so I had to do some changing and upgrading and we moved them indoors because the summer's getting really hot and apparently dwarf rabbits have a harder time surviving outside than regular rabbits because especially Netherland dwarfs, but their small ears make it so that they have a hard time staying cool because I didn't know this, but rabbits long ears are their like cooling off system. So when they're got short little ears like Netherland dwarfs, they have a harder time keeping cool because it's so short. So uh, anyway, learning about that and whatnot, we decided to upgrade all the cages and bring them indoors so that they can keep cool throughout the summer. So that took a lot. <laughs> that took a lot of prep work. We have them now in our laundry room and we have indoor cats and dogs so we had to think of a good place for them to keep that they could be and still be safe because we did not want to endanger them in that respect but we had that this summer so just a lot of things going on on top of everything that's happened in my um my update video so it's been a lot i'm gonna go with this zulu i don't even know if this is gonna work because it's so old yeah i don't think yeah it's not working 
we're gonna go with this one. This is 004 from Odin's Eye. Let's see if this works any better. The Zulu, I think, was ColourPop. Okay, that works a bit better. That's a fun pop of something, you know, bright in my waterline to go along with the the mattes. That's cool. Um, yeah, this was ColourPop. Gosh, I can't even remember when I bought that. That's how old it is. Probably. I mean, I am going to throw it away now because it's, <laughs> it's not working, but I could have thrown that away a long time ago. Okay, let me go ahead and put on, I'm going to take the Serene, that one shade that we didn't swatch. I'm going to use this for my inner corner. It feels a little bit like, um, fla not flaky, but softly pressed, which is why they took that extra time to package it individually. But that's very pretty, very bright. This will probably be stunning all over the lid if you just want that wet, shiny look to your, to your eyelid. That would be pretty. That's very nice. It's a little bit messy. I see some flakes of flying, but ooh, this brush, uh, not related at all to the video, but this is a Sigma um, Shayla. One of my favorite brushes simply because of how pretty it looks. But also it's got a nice weight to it compared to like other Sigma brushes. I feel like they feel pretty light, but this one actually, I don't know, has a weight to it. It's nice. Anyway, all right, now I'm going to finish up with, mm, I need to put, mm. do I want to put <sighs> wings on? No, we're not going to put wings on because we don't got time, Katie. Yeah, I've been here long enough. We're just going to put mascara and finish up this video so I can give you guys the final look. But anyway, um, I feel like I'm talking in code because I'm not going into every uh, my life update but I don't know if I've posted it or not but I am like I said I recorded that video several weeks ago things are still busy but uh things are good at the same time it's just gonna be just gonna be busy from here on out so uh, we're just in one of those phases where it's busy busy especially with the animals in summer I don't think it's gonna slow down until the winter if that but we're all doing good suffice to say we're all doing well. The kids are all doing well. We're enjoying the, the beautiful weather outside, enjoying lots of time in the, the little kiddie pools that we have and lots of popsicles. <laughs> and um, yeah, just it's it's been good. I've been gone a while, but along with all of the crazy stuff that happened, my kids are good and all the animals are healthy, doing well. Haven't had any major losses except for a couple chickens because we got a... Uh, a fox and I'm pretty sure an owl problem at night so uh, we've done some changes move things around to protect the chickens better and doing that we haven't had any losses since then except for one which I, well, is the one I'm pretty sure got taken by an owl but I had one rooster who was so stubborn not only did he not want to come and be put up at night to protect him I was only trying to do it to help him, but anyway, not only would he do that, but um, some of them just don't. And so I go out at night before I go to bed, and I usually round them up and put them in the, in the, um, in their homes myself. Like I'll go find out where they're roosting and move them. But I had this one that hid so well, I could not find him one night. Looked all over all of his usual spots, you know. Tried to, yeah. I just looked everywhere. Could not find him. I don't know where he hid. But uh, anyway, pretty sure an owl got him because uh, could not find any trace of him the next morning, but I, uh, we heard him squawking for like a second and then silence, so pretty sure he got taken. But uh, besides him being stubborn and not wanting to come in and hiding from me, we haven't had any, any major losses, so I've been very, very happy for that because a few of them were really hit hard because they were our hens and they were our, our normal um, chickens that haven't got any, hadn't had any predator pressure up until that point. But uh, there's been a lot of building. I shouldn't have been surprised, but there's been a ton of building up around us. A lot of land clearing, so I think our our area has just, our home has just been found by the wildlife as being a good source of food and also protection because we have a lot of woods around us um, that is not getting cleared. So a lot of the animals that are, um, you know, being 
their homes being destroyed for all the new development going on around us, they come to find our property and like, hey look, woods that aren't being torn down, let's live here. Okay, I just had one of my kids come in. I'm rambling at this point anyway. This is the completed look. I think it's beautiful. I will stick up close-up shots so you can see, but combining those two colors on the lid is absolutely stunning. They're definitely multi-chrome, or I mean, shouldn't say that. They're definitely duo-chrome because I can see shifts of color. I don't know if they're multi-chrome. That's where it gets a little harder unless it's super obvious, but I definitely see shifts of color, so combining those two on the lid is just so much color reflect happening and the mats are beautiful so overall i really like my first experience with the coastal palette from simply posh cosmetics you'll have to let me know are you planning to pick it up did you already pick it up what do you think of this color story as i said i think this is going to be really attractive to people who are more into neutrals and not into crazy bright colors and i really like it like i feel like this is a nice bright and colorful color or not colorful color, colorful eye look for me to wear but still doesn't look too too colorful you know it's more of a neutral comfortable colorful co uh, colorful type of look that i would be very comfortable wearing around and not feeling too loud if that makes sense so i really like that in this color story it gives you color but a little bit more subdued so i'm gonna be excited to wear it, honestly like it's it fits into my crazy life right now where i'm running around i don't really have time to play with loud music at the house a lot of times when i do my makeup it's for me to go out and yes i like color i still wear colorful stuff when i have time to do my makeup but i usually choose for more of this type of colorful where it's got the pops but not overall too loud that's my comfort zone right now so I feel like the coastal palette is just a great palette for me to have right now and really enjoy using because those are the type of eye looks I'm going for at this point so with that said, that is going to do it for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, as I said, what you think of the Coastal Palette. And yeah, give me your thoughts down below. I am so happy to be starting to record and edit videos again and upload them. I have definitely missed it. And let me know if there are any topics or anything you want me to talk about in future videos. Very open to any you know suggestions that you have since a lot of my videos are going to be focused on just playing with the palette, creating something fun. So if there's anything interesting that I can talk about as I do that, let me know that down below. But with all that said, that is going to do it for me. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.